Okay, so with the earnings call last night, congratulations to everyone at Tesla. We'll go more into that on our live stream. Make sure you tune in. It'll be this Saturday, which is May 2nd at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. But we wanna go over what was might have been almost like the biggest news that I kind of feel like we need to talk about. And that's gonna be full self-driving subscription basis. I'm not a huge fan of that as an investor. As a consumer, it sounds nice, but we're gonna go over some numbers because I think that's where, like, this is really going to make it or break it. So like you said, you're not a fan of subscriptions as an investor, exactly. but I'm just not a fan of subscriptions no matter At what. All, yeah. I, I hate like having to pay a monthly bill when I could just buy something and be done with it. Exactly, that's a huge thing, and especially this because We've done some number crunching, and if they do a monthly subscription, it's not going to be cheap. Um, yeah, I don't see how they could make it cheap. Exactly. So right now, to get full self-driving is a $7,000 cost when you buy your Tesla. We did some research, and on Auto Trader, they said the average time someone owns their car is 71.4 months or six years. We're just going to call it six years, yeah. 72 months to make things easy. Um, so if you take that $7,000, divide it by 72 months, that's $98 a month. But in the call, they did make it very explicit that it would be more beneficial to buy it outright at the beginning. Exactly. So, so they're not gonna offer it at $98 I, a month. No way that I could see that. Um, so we also did some calculation for everyone who loves leasing cars. A lot of businesses like to do this. It's great for them. And so if you lease a car for 36 months, which I believe is the max lease right now offered, um, you Tesla. might be able to yeah. like extend it or whatever. Yeah. If you do that full 7K over 36 months, it's $194.44. Or if you do it at the $98 a month we calculated over six years, it would only be like $3,500. So there's really no way Tesla's they would not be able to do offer that. It. They can't make any money. Exactly. Uh, only offering that, they'd be breaking even, less than breaking even. Less than breaking even, yeah. It wouldn't be great at all. So they'd have to charge more than $100, more than $200 a month. And my attitude is, is I'm willing to think and bet it's going to be north of $200 a month. And we've been talking back and forth about this, trying to figure out different ways they could do this because we don't know anything. We just know they're going to try to come out with it late 2020. That's and it's, it. And it's going to cost more than if you just bought it outright. Exactly. But they didn't discuss terms or anything like that. So we've been kind of talking about it and just like what would make it worth it for Tesla because it's got to be worth it for them. But also, as a consumer, what would make it worth it for a consumer? And I just don't think those two align at all. So one thing, in order to make it worthwhile for Tesla, I think they're not going to allow people to do it month to month. Exactly. Because I, a lot of people are saying, well, I would just get it for one month of the year when I go on a road trip. Tesla is never going to make any money if they only no, rented it out. $7, of the $7,000 is going to take decades. They, they would never to make, make any money. So I think they're going to have to do it like on a yearly basis. Yeah, I could definitely And that seems step. fair to me to have a, a yearly subscription. Yeah. But even if they charge, you know, $1,200 a year, I mean, that's cheaper than paying 7000 up front, but that's still 1200 a year. Exactly. And I know a lot of people, they have used their tax credits to help pay for full self-driving. Most people just roll it over in their loan. That, yeah, um, exactly. That's a nice thing is if you yeah. do put it in the loan, $7,000, you finance it out over the entire uh, loan terms. Yeah, exactly. And then it's yours. Because that's the other thing we've been talking about that David brought up a really good point. You're paying this month to month at a certain, or yearly, whatever it is. Yeah. At some point, do you just get full self-driving to keep or... If say you pay in for three years and you're like, you know what, I just want to buy it. Do you then have to pay seven grand on top of what you paid in for yeah, three years? We have no answers on that. But, but what if you own the car for 10 years? Do you have to pay exactly. that 12, you know, $100 a month for 10 years? Or do you own it after you've paid the 7,000? We don't have any answers to that yet. But exactly. that's why I like paying for it once instead yeah. of subscriptions or rental fees, just like with a cable modem or something like that. Oh yeah, completely. The, the cable agree. company will charge you like $50 a year for rental when you could just pay $50 and own it for the rest of the, and it will last for and years. That's a great example is that's one thing. We own our own modems. We own our own routers because what you pay for 
you more than pay for the best routers and modems in a year. Yeah. And that's and something you're, and that you're going to keep. And you're done with it. Exactly. So if Tesla does offer this, this is an expensive thing. Exactly. I would think they would have to have the kind of a rent to own that once you've yeah. reached the purchase price, if they offer the full purchase price, that yeah. you would own it. I would I hope. Would, I would still say, though, they better make it higher than the 7000 because otherwise, why would anybody give them 7000 up front? Yeah. yeah. It, they would have to make it like 10000 overall or maybe double. I don't... And, I don't know the answers, and Elon, but... Elon you know. did say that the, the price increase was coming. I mean, we have seen some sales in the past, and yeah. it used to be when they had, you know, in, enhanced autopilot and full self-driving, it was like 3000 5000 or if you yeah. bought it later, it added up to 10000 But then they had some sales where you can get it slightly cheaper. But um, a lot of people have prepaid for this, and they're yeah. not going to like it if you start giving it away. And so here's another good example. So... We have purchased 11 Teslas, 11 10 Tesla. of those we have purchased some kind of autopilot on. And we have spent how much on 10 of those cars? Of the 10 cars that we bought it on, $61,000 over, over the past four years. Yeah. So that's like, we paid 6,100 bucks a car. Now, we are not the typical people that only keep a car for like six years. We've actually been going through a lot of Teslas lately just because it's nice to show everyone the newest tech. I love the newest tech. Um, so, I mean, if it's only $100 a month, there's no way I'm ever going to spend 7,000 because say we keep it for three years, we only pay 3,600 bucks instead of 7,000. Yeah. A lot of people are, are gonna have to think twice. If they make it too cheap, they're, yeah. ne they're never gonna pay for it outright. Yeah. Exactly, so some ideas we had on things that would benefit Tesla. Hopefully more money in the future if people end up overpaying and they keep that. But also they do have that monthly or yearly payment hopefully they can try to count on depending on how actively people keep it um negative though for tesla uh, people won't pay the seven grand now because yeah. it really wouldn't be worth it so tesla has to wait to generate that income the only difference though is with the seven thousand now they don't recognize all of that income right away because not all the features are out whereas a monthly subscription they can recognize that income at the end of every month because the services have been rendered since it's just a subscription to what's currently available. So I don't know, would the subscription fee get more expensive as Tesla's can do more autonomy? I don't, I don't know, but, I, but again, I just can't, yeah. I can, just can never imagine paying 300, you know, 200, $300 a month subscription fee. It's like, I, know, I would just why. drive the car myself. I don't I need to pay $300 a month or, or I would pay the one-time fee and be done with it. And I know I don't have to make any other payments from then on. Even exactly. if it's the same money, the 7,000 divided over the loan payment, yeah. I'd much rather put it in there and be done with it. I just can't ever imagine renting yeah. a, or paying a service like it's that. It's definitely not like the premium connectivity thing, which is like $9.99 a month. That's not- It's a much bigger price. That's not yeah. something that 99% of people will bat an eye at. But when you're talking 200 bucks, yeah. that's a big chunk of change to be thinking about every month. But also, we how does it affect people who own multiple Teslas? We actually currently yeah. have four Teslas in the household. We're not going to be paying That'd be like two hundred or three hundred dollars a month. We're not going to pay eight hundred or a thousand dollars a month for something that exactly you know when we can only drive one of the cars at a time per person. Exactly, and so that was another thing we were thinking of is maybe they would make it on a user basis instead of a car basis. But then that's a ton of lost income because say I own several Teslas, I would only pay that monthly subscription fee once and it would be across all three yeah, four cars. But I could also see like the Netflix sharing account thing That's where true. you share your account with somebody else and then only one person in the family owns yeah. or has full self driving and, and they only use it on one car at a time. So I don't see that. Yeah. It would be nice to have it, but I could see people trying to share it oh, and yeah, Tesla it would, would lose out on all that system. income. So one thing we haven't even talked about either with this is the hardware. Currently yeah. for full self-driving, you're going to need at least hardware three or autopilot three. There's thousands, tens of, maybe hundreds of thousands yeah. of cars out there with autopilot two and autopilot 2.5. Now while Tesla is upgrading those cars for people who have already purchased full self-driving, we don't know how a subscription would work in yeah. to, to hardware updates. It's like, are they going to require a one or a two or a three year subscription in order to get that, you know, free upgrade to the hardware three we don't know yet yeah because people have actually been talking about online they have 2.5 and they were saying i'll just upgrade for a month get my free full self-driving computer and then cancel but it's like then that hardware yeah, does you no good yeah t and tesla's not gonna do no. that either because they're, they're they would be losing money on that and, exactly and it wouldn't make any sense to do that because if you get the new computer if and you no don't have software, the software, it doesn't make any sense. So we kind of spoke a little bit about what would be great for Tesla and what would be great for a consumer. 
and those don't exactly align. So we kind of came up with an idea that would be possibly a happy median, but it doesn't involve subscriptions at all. Yeah, one thing I think would really be good, what I really liked before is when they had enhanced autopilot and full self-driving, yeah. the, the prices were broken down. It was easier to, to buy in. Yeah. I think if they offered something more and it's like an a la carte option, so yeah. you could just buy navigate on autopilot or you could just buy auto steer. Or and summon. Something like this, yeah. you know, advanced summon, whatever they're calling it for a couple thousand here, a couple thousand there, yeah. then you could just get the ones you want. And people would be, I think, if more inclined to pay $4,000 if they could get the two features they want instead yeah. of paying 7000 for extra features they don't want. Because really, we don't use summon. It's not something we would really use on a daily basis. And, um, unless I can summon my car like, you know. Across a parking lot or and from, it's faster. Or like Elon said at one time, across the country. That if would, I could yeah. do that, I would pay for summon. But there's also things like auto park. That's included in full self-driving, but I don't to think the, I've ever used it. To this date. It. In, maybe yeah, once or twice for fun. I have never fun. used auto park. Yeah. yeah, I've used it maybe a few times for fun and show people. I but, can, I can yeah. park my car if there's a parking space. I can park itself. I would pay for it if I could get out at the Walk front of the away. mall and then say send it and let yeah. it go and drive for me. Then I would do auto park. But the way it currently is, I'm not going to pay for it. So. Exactly. But if we could like break that down... I'm sure a lot more people would be interested in the things like navigate on autopilot and stuff like that. And perhaps they would get more people buying those packages and be able to generate more income. Yeah. But the great thing is, is if you ever wanted to do summon or something, you could add that later at whatever the cost may be. Yeah. So, so you wouldn't have to pay the full 7,000 or however much it is at exactly. once. You just have a couple, you know, $2,000 packages or 1500 and then it would add up to that, but you could just get the one you want. So we really don't think Tesla would ever offer that. It would be nice, but that is what we would kind of think is like the best of both worlds for people to be able to get in it without having to do subscription services. Because again, we're not big fans of subscription services, especially something like this, where it would be so expensive of a subscription. It's not like a $7 Netflix or something like that. It is, we're talking multiple hundreds of dollars here. And they per did- Per month. Per month. Yeah. And they did actually just start some cool stuff in China where you can actually finance full self-driving at 0%. Maybe yeah. they should do something like that exactly. here in the US because um, that might convince more people to do it if you don't have to pay financing charges, but at least Tesla wouldn't have to worry about subscription bases. I don't know. Comment down below what your opinion is. Always really excited to see people talk about this. And we've been seeing a bunch of stuff on the TMC forums, all over Twitter. It's kind of Reddit, blown up yeah, all over. We just wanted to give our opinions and what we think about it. Not a big fan of subscription costs. But yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that though. As always, huge thank you to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you're looking to accessorize your Tesla Model S, X3, and now Model Y, definitely check them out. I'll link down below and using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. My two must have accessories are definitely gonna be a center console wrap. Really helps protect that gloss black material that Tesla uses that can be very fingerprint and scratch prone. And the great thing is, is you can make it your own. They have all different kinds of colors and you can just remove it when you decide to sell the car and the piano black underneath is crystal clean, as well as a matte screen protector. It really helps cut down any glare while driving, as well as protect it from fingerprints because it has an oleophobic surface and you won't see those anymore. Awesome, awesome products. Definitely check them out. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.